Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 15 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems 2.1 to 2.9, exercises 2.1 to 2.4, and examples 1 to 14, and questions 1 to 14 from the same exercise. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Question number 15 from exercise 2.5, chapter 2 triangle says, in an equilateral triangle ABC, D is a point on side BC such that BD is equal to one third of BC. Prove that 9AD square is equal to 7AB square. So this question is very much important guys. So please try to understand and practice this problem. So let us first draw the figure for this question. So they have given us an equilateral triangle ABC. So let us draw an equilateral triangle and name it as ABC where D is a point on BC. So mark a point D on the side BC such that BD is one third of BC and we have to prove that 9AD square. Okay, so we have to join the vertex A with the point D to obtain AD square value. So 9AD square is equal to 7AB square. So this is what we have to prove. So to obtain the square value of any sides, this can be done by applying the Pythagoras theorem. So here there is no right angle triangle in the figure so that we can apply a Pythagoras theorem. So for that, let us draw an altitude AE perpendicular to BC. Since an altitude forms a 90 degree angle with the base, right? So therefore we obtain 90 degree angle on both the sides of this altitude. Right angle triangles are formed here. So therefore we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to prove 9AD square is equal to 7AB square. So now first of all let us write down what is given what we have to prove and the construction part. So given triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle all the three sides will be equal that is the side AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. Therefore we have AB is equal to BC equal to AC. And also they have given that BD is one third of BC, right? So BD is equal to one third of BC. Let us mark this equation as one. So what we have to prove? So we have to prove that 9AD square is equal to 7AB square construction. So what did we construct? We drew an altitude AE perpendicular to the side BC and also we join the vertex A with the point D that is join AD right so now let us write down the proof so since we have to prove 9 AD square is equal to 7 AB square so which is the triangle formed by the side AD so from the side AD right angle triangle formed is ADE so let us apply the Pythagoras theorem in the, this right angle triangle ADE in triangle ADE since angle AED is 90 degree, applying Pythagoras theorem, since AD is the hypotenuse, which is the side opposite the 90 degree angle, so we get AD square is equal to DE square plus AE square. AD square is equal to DE square plus AE square. So let this be equation 1. Similarly, which is the triangle formed by the side AB? So with the side AB, the right angle triangle formed is ABE, right? So similarly, let us apply the Pythagoras theorem. In triangle ABE, it is right angle at AEB. So therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, we have AB square is equal to BE square plus AE square. AB square is equal to BE square plus AE square. Right, let this be equation number 2. Now since we have to prove 9AD square is equal to 9AB square, so let us subtract equation 1 by 2 so that we obtain AD square is equal to AB square. After subtracting, sending this AB to the right hand side, we will obtain AD square is equal to AB square. If we add them, then a minus sign will appear when we move this AB to the right hand side as we did in a previous question. So therefore, subtracting equation 1 minus 2 so therefore we get ad square minus ab square is equal to subtract right hand side part of both equation 1 and 2 so we get de square 
plus a e square minus of b e square plus a e square. So let us open the bracket. So we get a d square minus a b square is equal to d square plus a e square opening the bracket minus b e square this will be minus into plus again minus a e square right so plus a e square and minus a e square will get cancelled and we will be left with a d square minus a b square is equal to d e square minus b e square so this will be equation 2 since we have already named here equation 1 and this will be equation 3 so subtracting 2 minus 3 let us name this as equation 4 we got a d square and minus a b square so we have to remove this d e and b e on the right hand side so let us find out the value of d e and b e from the figure so since in the figure a e is an altitude which divides the side b c into two equal parts since a b c is an equilateral triangle so let us prove here the side b e is equal to e c by using the congruency criteria so to prove b e is equal to e c we have to consider triangle a e b and a e c and prove that these two triangles are congruent so write down in triangle a e b and triangle a e c so since ABC is an equilateral triangle, we had already proved that the side AB is equal to AC, right? So write down AB from triangle AEB is equal to AC from triangle AEC since triangle ABC is equilateral. And also in these two triangles, angle AEB and angle AEC are 90 degree angles. So if we name this as angle 1 and angle 2, therefore we can write angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 90 degree. These two angles are equal. Similarly, side AE is common for both the triangle. So write down AE is equal to AE. It is a common side right so therefore by rhs congruency criteria we can say by rhs congruency criteria here rhs means right angle hypotenuse and side so we have one right angle equal between these two triangles a b e and a e c the hypotenuse a b is equal to a c and also one side a e is common between these two triangles. Therefore, applying RHS congruency criteria, we can say that the triangle AEB is congruent to triangle AEC. So, these, since these two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding sides in a congruent triangles will be equal. So, therefore, BE will be equal to EC, right? Therefore, by corresponding parts of congruent triangles, we can write the side BE is equal to EC. So let this be equation 5. So now in the figure if you observe this side BC is equal to BE plus EC. Right? So write down from figure BC is equal to BE plus EC. Now let us substitute the value of EC as equal to BE from equation 5. So from 5 we can write BC is equal to BE plus instead of EC we are writing BE. So that is BC is equal to 2BE or we can find out the BE value here equal to half BC. Right? So let this be equation 6. So we found out the BE value to substitute in equation 4. Now let us determine the DE value. Similarly, if you look at the figure DE is equal to BE minus BD. So write down from figure DE is equal to BE minus BD. So from equation 6 we can substitute the BE value here and also from equation 1 if you observe we can substitute the BD value which is equal to one third of BC. Right? Substituting equation 6 and 1 so we will obtain DE is equal to what is BE value that is half of BC minus BD is one third of one third of BC. So let us take the LCM here. So we will get DE is equal to LCM is 6 
so 2 3s are 6 so we get 3 bc here minus 3 2s are 6 so we get 2 bc so 3 bc minus 2 bc will be bc divided by 6 so here we obtain the de value which is de is equal to bc by 6 so let us name it as equation 7 so let us substitute equation 6 and 7 that is be and de value in equation 4 so substituting 6 and 7 in equation 4 so we get ad square minus ab square is equal to instead of de we will write bc by 6 the whole square and minus be value as half of bc the whole square so this will be bc square divided by 6 square is 36 minus again bc square divided by 2 square is 4 so again let us take the lcm here so taking lcm here lcm will be 36 36 1 times so we'll write 1 bc minus 4 9s are 36 so it is 9 bc here ad square minus ab square is equal to bc square minus 9 ac square so 1 minus 9 so we will subtract with greater number sign so 1 minus 9 is 8 that is minus 8 bc square divided by 36 so cancelling this is 4 2s are 4 9s are ad square minus ab square is equal to minus 2 bc square divided by 9 so here again we have to eliminate the bc value on the right hand side to obtain 9 ad square is equal to 7 ab square okay since triangle abc is an equilateral triangle so we had already written that ab value is equal to bc right so since ab equal to bc we have written this in given so let us substitute that so therefore we get ad square minus ab square is equal to minus 2 instead of bc we will write ab minus 2 ab square divided by 9 so now let us send this ab square on the left hand side to the right hand side so therefore we can write ad square is equal to ab square minus 2 ab square by 9 so again let us take the lcm as 9 here so we get 9 ab square minus 2 ab square so what is 9 minus 2 so we get ad square equal to 9 minus 2 is 7 ab square divided by 9 now sending this 9 to left hand side it comes in multiplication form so therefore we get 9 ad square is equal to 7 ab square right so this is what we had to prove so this question is quite lengthy unless you practice twice or thrice so that you can understand and follow the steps perfectly so this question is very important guys so please try to understand and if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number 16 from exercise 2.5 chapter 2 triangles so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc insert math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 2 triangles shown on the screen thank you